Learning more about the toxic algae sparking a health advisory at Meads Quarry Lake, our Bergen Toth spoke with the people who found it. A health advisory warning has been put in place for Meads Quarry Lake after they recently discovered elevated levels of a toxic algae bloom. One thing that we're looking into is kind of how can we mitigate the exposure of humans and dogs and other people uh, to these toxins. Dr. Brittany Zepernick, who works in the Department of Microbiology at the University of Tennessee, took seven of her graduate students to the lake as a class exercise. And we arrived, we saw that the water was quite turbid or cloudy. It looked muddy. Uh, and when we collected samples, we noticed that all of our filters were very pink. To their surprise, they found large quantities of algae known to cause harm to humans and animals. Um, these harmful algae blooms are affecting over 60 million lakes globally. So it's not just a Tennessee problem or a U.S. problem, it's a global issue. Jan Spin of Blue Green Water Technologies notes that factors such as warmer winter temperatures and an increase of nitrogen in our environment can all play a key role. Knoxville is a great community to be part of, so we all want to preserve our environmental resources that we have here. The graduate course is expected to be renewed at the university, allowing future students the opportunity to monitor Knoxville's water sources. Overall, I'm really proud of the students, proud of what they've accomplished, um, and excited to kind of see how just a small class of seven graduate students can make a change and, and quite a splash, perhaps, in our local community. Bergen Toth, WVLT News. The quarry will remain closed until the levels are safe.